Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HBC. We're at the Texas Instruments booth at SC12 in Salt Lake City. I'm here with Arnon Friedman from Texas Instruments. Hi, Rich. How you doing? Good. So, Arna, uh, first question, let, let's just talk about who is TI in this space and who do you help? Uh, so, Texas Instruments, we make uh, some high-performance multi-core DSPs and we're coming from the communications background. So traditionally we help base station manufacturers, we help radio network controllers, and what we found last year was that our DSPs are very good uh, performance per watt compared to industry standards here with Intel and NVIDIA and others. And so we're looking to help everyone looking to save power on high performance systems. Okay, so you rolled out the DSP for HPC last year. What's been happening since and what's new today? Um, well, you know, we rolled it out last year not knowing a whole lot about HPC. And uh, we've been getting a very, uh, I'd say, a whirlwind education on HPC, uh, what's required, what's of interest, how you move forward in HPC. Um, and it's been great. You know, we've, we've done a whole lot. So, uh, you know, one thing that really comes up when we start talking about performance in HPC is LINPAC. What's your LINPAC benchmark, right? You, you have to have it. So we actually did some work, um, and over here we have an example of it, with KTH, a supercomputer center in Sweden. They, uh, they optimized LINPAC on the DSP, and they instrumented one of our evaluation modules to do a measurement. And they measured uh, 2.3 gigaflops per joule, which, to put it in perspective, uh, the Blue Gene, or, or you know, the IBM um, PC that's number one on top 500 is like 2.1. Now that's system level. Yeah, we'll that's one of the most energy so, efficient on the green 500. That's the that's the standard, the bar. To, that's right. So yeah. so KTH wanted to see, are we even interesting? And they think that we could get up to three. And this is with you know this DSP now is sampled at the end of 2010. So we, you know, it was very interesting. So, so the next question was, okay, how do you scale? How do you go from one and, and, uh, to multi? So there we actually, um, in the system over there, we have an HP server, and we have two cards that each have four DSPs. So we have eight DSPs in that server, um, communicating to each other over PCIe, and basically rep, you know, taking that benchmark and showing how we can scale to eight you know, with minimal loss, uh, which, which is a key, a, a key metric. And uh, one other thing that I'd like to comment that most people don't understand, uh, when we first talk about it, they think of us as a GPU. We're just going to offload, we're going to accelerate like a GPU. So in HPL, High Performance LINPAC, the x86 does a bunch and it sends some jobs to the to GPU. In this LINPAC benchmark and in the server, the DSP does everything. The x86 just sets it up and says go, and then the DSPs run an entire operating system, they communicate to each other. and they, so. There's a different paradigm with our chips, um, and so we'd like, we're, we're trying to educate researchers that as they get interested, that if you put an entire application down on the coprocessor card, and you don't have to send data back and forth, you can get even more efficiency that way. So, uh, not, you know, we were talking last week on a podcast on how you guys have packaged together an ARM processor with your DSPs in the same package. What's the advantage of that? Yeah, so we just announced our Keystone 2 family, and we took a quad-core A15 and packaged together with the DSP. Uh, there's a number of advantages. So one of the biggest ones is access to Linux. So now that quad A15 can run multi-core Linux, SMP, access to all the tools, and have the DSP for the high efficiency you know, right next to it. And now you're together on the same package, you've got a high-performance throughput, and you know, we believe we bring a lot of differentiation to the ARM. Um, we're leveraging a lot of TI IP and how that SOC, system on chip, comes together. And you know, in the telecom networks, we have a lot of data movement. And what we have seen is that if you can put a multi-core together, but when you have a lot of data flowing through the system, how you put, integrate that in what we call our Terranet and your backplane and your IO really determines how efficient and how effective your system is. And so we think when people start looking at these quad A15s, whether with the DSPs or just by themselves, you know, with everything that we're seeing on, on ARM servers, that you're going to find a very effective and efficient server system. So you announced this thing, we're here at SC12, yep. when, when, when will this be coming to market? Uh, we'll have samples in-house in December, and we'll have evaluation modules ready first quarter, and uh, you know, we're looking forward to seeing what people, uh, what people can do with them.